guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna give you another nice couple of tips. Today we're gonna talk about how to avoid stick the pizza in the oven, how to use the pizza peel, how to rescue your pizza from stuck in the table, from stuck into the pizza peel, or stuck in your pizza oven. We're gonna start it now. Are you ready? Let's start it. Okay guys, now um, what we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about our tools to, to use the pizza. Um, first of all, you need to get the right tools. So for, for example, I saw some people using this type of pizza peel, which is now my favorite pizza peel. But if you got one of them before use, make sure you got a steel and you have to give a little bit sharpness to get nice and fit to help your pizza comes to your top to your shadow to your pizza peel without gaps here um, so very good very important if you get one of them sharpness with that they still like that and then your pizza will be easy to to scoop it in but I do use J metal pizza peel so they're already sharp this one is already old so I'm definitely gonna buy another one it's got five years but that's the great it's gonna help you to to use your pizza scooping top and put in the oven so they're already sharp next like that and that's the one of the best pizza peel you can get on the on the business right okay now we're gonna stretch a couple of pizza and uh, because people ask me why my pizza stick in the, in the in the table stick on my pizza peel stuck in the oven so we're gonna stretch a couple of pizzas uh, I got these 48 pizzas here very fragile it's been nearly two hours, two days outside, but we're gonna stretch it and we're gonna make a couple of pizzas to try to understand how to avoid your your pizzas. So first of all, when you're stretching, you make sure your table is dry. There's no water. There's no anything. So otherwise, if it's a little bit water, a little bit sauce, or something else, humidity. You're definitely gonna stack your pizza so you cover with your flour quick and then you give a nice stretch okay and then you want to remove all the semolina I do use all the semolina so then see there's a little bit of semolina here as well so I'm gonna pull upside down again and then I'm gonna put on the table like that this can stay even a couple of minutes, it won't stick. I'm gonna take one more. And uh, okay, now, let's stretch one more pizza. And uh, I wanna show you a way to not avoid stick your pizza on your table and the pizza peel. So now, before put any toppings, Always make sure there's no any little holes on your pizza because if you've got some holes, it's definitely gonna stuck at some point. Okay, I'm gonna put some sauce, one of them, and then make sure you don't go over the over the pizza. You know, if it's the case happen, let's for give you a sample. Let's go like that without the mistake. Easy, get your spatula, get some semolina. You can use flour as well, it's up to you. And then make sure you just make sure the pizza see is moving, so it should stick. Right, now when using the pizza peel, just go a little bit, just on the level of the table, slowly up a little bit. You can pull it like that, and then again you stretch it and then it come down. See the pizza ready, you can see it wouldn't stack. And before go pull your oven, always do this shaky movement. So the pizza is moving, it's moving on your pizza peel. So definitely it wouldn't stack. If for, if for some reason stuck in your pizza peel, maybe because you will go some hole, uh, we're gonna make it for purpose some hole here just to. Maybe you realize what's the hole. And then you take your pizza peel and look now. I can see stuck. 
stuck. Maybe you want to put all the cheese and say, oh yeah, I'm gonna put the pizza in the oven, so we put some mozzarella too. See, there's a hole, it's stuck. Wow, I said, what's gonna happen now? Do you wanna throw away the pizza? No. I'm gonna use a plate. You can use a pizza plate. I got this little disposable one. Go upside down. Bang, again. I can see there is little hole here. So you're gonna cover with your fingers like that. Put some semolina. Make sure your pizza peel is clean. It was a little bit sauce there. Okay, and now put upside down again. Bang. Double check again, so it's not moving. Great. And then it's ready to do in the oven. Okay, so it's very easy. Once you do that, it should stick. I saw people doing this when they do the pizza peel, like to tip like that. They put so much flour, scrub it, see, and they put the pizza on top. We want to get the pizza. Guys, please don't do that. This is very bad. Don't do, don't follow these people show those kind of videos with lots of flour your pizza peel and then trying to do the pizza that way. This pizza, when it's cooking in the oven, it's gonna be your oven full of flour, burn, that's better, or, or bitter, it will be horrible. So, okay, now, so this pizza, you see, look, it comes down easily, it was broken, it goes back again. You, you can give a little bit pressure as well, your pizza is slightly pressure here. And you scoop it up, your pizza up. So now, what happens if your pizza stuck inside your oven? Right, we're gonna make another hole here. Okay, and maybe we didn't realize that. I'm sure you're gonna stuck in the oven. So let's put in this pizza in the oven. Okay. So if it's this... Now, I wouldn't touch the pizza right now because it's too soft. But it can happen sometimes, pizza has got a little hole, maybe it's too thin, it's stuck in your or oven. Oh, that's gonna be a panicking situation. So don't panic in. The first things, let it cook first. Let your pizza cook first. If you realize there is stuck on the base of the pizza oven, I will show you now what you have to do. I can hear already the mozzarella start to burn on the base of the pizza oven. See the sound. So I know already there's a hole somewhere there. Okay, right. You need to find out where is the hole. Don't touch the pizza. And now trying to work with your pizza peel all around. Avoid to, to touch the hole and move gentle. Okay, so I know it's the hole. See, but I let the pizza cook. Let the pizza cook as possible before touch it again because otherwise it's stuck, it's gonna make a big hole. You have to throw it over the pizza, you have to brush it over again. If you're middle of the service, you're gonna be in trouble. So now I move slowly again. Pizza is moving, so it's safe. Okay. So, I rescue the pizza, even with the hole. So, what you need to do? You need to work around the pizza with the hole and try to get from the back. Okay, a bit gentle. See, there's a hole there, but Pizza is saved. All right, so you can save your pizza. Of course, if it's a big hole, your pizza, unfortunately, you cannot save your pizza. So he has to remove it, scrub it, brush your oven again, and do it again. But if it's the hole is not that big, you can actually save your pizza. All right, okay. See now, our pizza is safe. It's ready. 
there. Let's go, let's go a little hole somewhere here. We will map the hole. Where is it? The hole somewhere here. Is the, look, see the hole was here. But, you know, we saved the pizza. So we always try to play around with your rotation pizza. And then you're gonna save your pizza. That was a couple of tips both today, guys. Yeah, um, leave comments below if you got any question all about these little techniques and tricks to save your pizza. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And then I'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching. Thank you.